following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the August 30th, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Steve E. Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I do want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, and that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on it at 877-927-6648. We'd love to hear from you. Now, if you can't call in, but you've got a question, we've got you covered. You can always send me an email. Send that to Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And in our Tiger's Den, well, any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Terrific Tuesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, you get all the U.S. indices trading to the downside. Dow's up 234, S&P 37 at 7 tenths and 9 tenths. 1% 1 for the NASDAQ, 143. 1 and a quarter for the Russell, that's 24. 1 and 7 tenths for the semis, that's 46 points to the downside. Gold's off 3 quarters of a percent, or 13 points. 2% for the uh, silver contract, trading down at 1828. That's the December contract. That's off 38 pennies. Lights Recruit is now back $4.40 at 9258. Natural gas off 37 cents. The 30 year treasury is down 10 ticks. There is no place to hide other than the US dollar index, which is up about 25 ticks right now. I do have a 10 minute delay on that. Lead the charge. Dollar wise, the upside, you've got Hempaco up 127% or seven bucks. Domino's Pizza up $3 and change. That's 1%. Phase Holdings up $3 or 18%. Avid Technologies about 12% or 3 bucks. Best Buy up 260 That's 3.5% to the upside. The Shakers are John Deere & Company off 12 bucks. Uh, Mercado Lirbe is down 10. Arch Resources is down about 10. Baidu is off 10. Karuna Therapeutics is off 10. United Rentals is down 10. A lot of things are off $10 to the uh, downside. But let's start by taking a look at, so we may have a bottom here, at least an intraday bottom. Stevie, come on, how can that possibly be out there? Well, if we just go take a look at those TD9 count patterns on the 30-minute charts, that is the reason to suggest that that is a possibility. So you'll see here are four equity future contracts. Bar number, the bar following bar number nine is what completed as we came on at 11 o'clock this morning. Well, that was just really about, uh, what, nine minutes ago. Now, the cool thing about the TD9 count pattern out here is that if the lows of the day get taken out, that tells you that we should continue to head lower out here because this pattern will have failed. Now, we've got to go take a look at the other intraday charts, see what other kind of signals that we have out here. Now, what price should do, price should run up to their respective oscillator and change line levels. So for the ES mini, that right now is around 40.29. In the NQ, it's around 12.496. In the Dow, 32.068. In the Russell, 18.78. So those are the price range areas if, in fact, these TD9 count bottoms take hold. You close below a TD9 count bottom, and that says that we continue to move lower out here. So that's the first thing. Now, let's go switch over and take a look at the daily time frame charts out here. So we'll change our windows. We'll take a look at the daily. And what we'll see here in the daily, in the upper left-hand corner, you've got the ES Mini. We now have bar number eight that is going to complete today. That suggests that the ES Mini 
could or should form a TD9 count pattern by Thursday. They still have to get bar number nine. In order for bar number nine to complete, it needs to close below the close of bar number five. So unless there's going to be some major rally, more likely than not, we're going to get a confirmed TD9 count bottom tomorrow and a completed pattern on Thursday. Completed because the lower low can't take place on either bars eight, which is today, could be tomorrow, bar nine, or it could be the bar following bar number nine. Now, price is making its way back to its breakout level, 38, 38, 75, with a TD9 count bottom. It smells, and we're end of month, window dressing, the whole nine yards. So we should get some type of bottom pattern out here that forms an ES mini between today and Thursday. Inside the NQ, today will become bar number nine. That says that tomorrow would be the completion of its pattern out there, and this is occurring right at its breakout level of support, 12, 75 out here. If you look at the Dow Equity Future contract, today is going to be bar number eight. Now, it does not have a TD9 count pattern, so that we do not have TD9 count support. So instead, we really rely on the ES Mini and the NQ's charts here to provide us with additional signal information. But the, like the ES Mini, the YM, the Dow Equity Future contract, should complete a uh, TD9 count bottom by Thursday. The Russell 2000, it does not have a TD9 count. What it has is an A to B equals CD, as do the other equity future contracts out here. But it really is the TD9s we'll be watching out here. A bullish reversal candle, though, for those ES, the NQ, the Dow, would confirm a buy the D point pattern as well. Doesn't matter if we have two bottoms out here, Stevie. It does not. So in the case of the Russell 2000, its bottom could not or would not form until we see some type of bullish reversal candle. But price is basically close enough to complete that one-to-one -one move out there. Speaking of the, now let's just take a quick peek at the weekly charts. What needs to occur, oh, did I, I deleted one of the weekly charts? Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, well, uh, and it was the NQ's charts out here. So here's the, uh, and I apologize, I'm, I'm not going to be able, at least during this two minutes, to pull that up. Um, and, the, and I don't know exactly what I did, but I did it. Because uh, life is happening for me. Let me just check real quickly here. Is there another weekly chart? Let's see. One, one, one week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Where's the NQ? Weekly chart. That's the Dow. Sorry, folks. I think I actually have it here. Uh, maybe I don't. Uh, I, hate to, I hate to fumble around during these. There we go. Okay, we got it up. Okay, perfect. So here what we're watching on a weekly basis is only Tuesday. But... If there's going to be any kind of a uh, bottom, meaningful or otherwise, could just be, you know, a counter trend move out here. What price needs to do is hold those weekly oscillator and change lines. The ES number is at 4021. The NQ is trading just below its level right now. That number for the NQ is 12,373. For the Dow, it's 32,134. For the Russell, price is still above that level. Pretty amazing out here. Now, it's, it shows a TD9 count. But uh, bar number eight right now is below the close of bar number four. But it's going to be an end of week thing. But 1827.10 is its level of support on a weekly time frame for the equity future contracts out here. Now, uh, if we just take a look at it, I did mention that everything has got the A to B equals CD patterns out here. If we take a look at the, um, here's the equity future contracts. You'll see the ES attaining the one-to-one -one level. The NQ doing the same thing. The Dow doing the same thing that did it yesterday. And here, the Russell 2000, close enough to complete that one-to-one. -one. Its actual price projection was 1846.60, below 1850.10 out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Would love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. Or get me an, send me an email, steve at tfnn.com, such as Nicholas did here. We're going to go take a look at the SMHs for Nicholas when we get back from this break. inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in the Tier 1 mining district. This is a large-scale, low-cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd Feasibility Study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, 
Dearest Party, Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're going to go take a look at the SMHs for Nicholas A. Nicholas writes in, good morning, Steve. Happy Taco Tuesday to you. Back at you. Would you please go over the SMHs? How close to a TD9 bottom are we at? Entry point for going long. Support resistance levels. Thanks. Have a great day and a better one tomorrow. So let's go take a look at the semi. So here's what we know right now. So your specific question was about the TD9 count pattern out here. Um so I want to answer that first. Uh, give me a moment just to get to the spot I need to get to. Here we go. And I will pull over the uh, SMHs, which are only in bar number three. So I'll pull over the SMHs. So TD9 count is not the pattern, at least at this stage of the game, that's going to identify the bottom. So we just simply eliminate that. Now, you asked about oscillator and change line and so forth. So for the SMH, it's at the 220. Well, let me get to the exact number. It's at 233.19. As far as support, prices below support, that was the bottom of the uh, profile out there. And the bottom of the profile is at 229.48. So that's old support. That becomes resistance out here. No other support uh, on the SMHs. So with regard to the SMHs, here's what we know. They've got the A to, they've at least done the one to one A to B equals CD to the downside. Now prices along the inside of that C to D leg out here. So could be doing more than a one to one point two seven two. So let's go take a look at the actual A to B equals CD pattern and its price projection level. So you can see it hit the one to one at 214.45. One to one point two seven two is down at 208.64. What the SMHs need, Nicholas, to identify a bottom uh, is a, a bullish reversal candle. And short of that, price will continue to move lower. So 208.64 becomes the next target to the downside. But in order to do a thorough review of the SMHs for Nicholas, we can't just stop right there, can we? Well, we could, but we won't. Why won't we? Well, we don't have any other questions in the queue, so that's one of the reasons. But really, we won't because we're thorough around here. So we're going to begin in the SMHs with the top eight components here, because this is where really the 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 the, the metal hits the road. That's not it, Stevie. 
But th this is really what we want to do. So if you take a look at Taiwan Semiconductor, TSM, number one weighting inside the semis. I don't know the percentage off the top of my head. 10 to 13 percent, I believe, something along those lines. But you can do that work yourself out here. They have lower to go before they get to a buy the D point pattern which looks like it's around 80, 50 or so. If you look at NVIDIA, NVIDIA is in an A to B equals CD to the downside. It has attained the one-to-one -one level. So this needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom out there. If we look at uh, Texas Instruments out here, TXN, price is pulled back and it's holding the support of its breakout area at 165.57. No TD9 count pattern. And uh, it needs to go lower for an A to B equals CD to the downside around 162. No bottom signal there. Qualcomm is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count. That says a TD9 count bottom in Qualcomm should form by Thursday out there. Its breakout level is 130.26. Price might get down to tag that area out there between tomorrow and Thursday. Abgo, uh, Broadcom has completed the one-to-one -one A to B equals CD. When I say completed, it's attained the one-to-one -one level. It's not completed by the D-point pattern. So it's made that one-to-one -one move. It's done more than that. And again, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. Azimil Holdings out here. Today is going to be the bar following bar number nine. Maybe Azimil gives you a feel tomorrow and the next day as to what the uh, SMH is intent there. Why? Because if Azimil closes below today's low, whatever that is, that TD9 count pattern will get negated, and that'll suggest lower price. Lower price for um, uh, ASML Holdings is at 434.55. AMD out here. This has an A to B equals CD to the downside now. It didn't take out its swing point until yesterday, so I'm not sure if it was confirmed, meaning if it had the volume. Let's take a look at that. So the B point was a trading day from uh, 824, 56 million shares. Yesterday, oh, yesterday was 61 million shares. So AMD has a confirmed uh, A to B equals CD to the downside. That should take it into the 83-ish area. That would need a bullish reversal candidate to confirm a bottom as well. Clack, KLA C10 core out there, has got an A to B equals CD to the downside, getting close to achieving the one-to-one -one, uh, level out there. Um, and it will need a bullish reversal candle to uh, confirm a bottom. So that's the top eight out there. So the only one, with really a, bot a real true bottom signal right now is uh, Asmo Holdings, the bar following bar number nine of a TD9 count. But let's not stop there. We don't have to stop there. We've got more. That's right. And if you order now, uh, you'll get the, uh, I'm just kidding you out there. But the more that we've got here are the next eight components inside of the SMHs. So I know we're way over 50% of the holdings inside of that. So if you take a look at ticker symbol ADI, today should be a TD9 count bottom pattern out here. Now a bullish reversal candle would be a nice thing to confirm a buy the D point pattern, but you close below today's low, whatever that is, 145.19 is where it will target. SNPS out here, that's got much lower to go before it gets to its A to B equals CD price projection, the one to one, and that's in about the 325 area. Bar number eight inside of Intel, so this could form a TD9 count bottom, by Thursday out there, if we look at the LRCX, it's got done more than a one-to-one -one A to B equals CD, just needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. AMAT, the same thing with regard to an A to B equals CD pattern, needs lower price, maybe around the 93 area, or 94.62. Um, MU has got an A to B equals CD to the downside. Now, the question is, was it taken out with volume uh, yesterday? And let's go find out. So it's B point, which was the uh, trading session from August the 24th out there. Did volume of 9.9 .9 million yesterday, 11 million. So uh, for Micron, you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD to the downside. Should take us to lower price. Around the 53 area is the one to one. Uh, bar number eight on CDNS, that says it could form a TD9 count bottom by Thursday. And NXPI, today should be its bottom. So again, watch today's low, whatever that is. If you get a close below that inside of NXP tomorrow, if you get the same thing inside of ADI, if you get that same kind of pattern inside of ASML, then what that tells you, um, uh, Nick, is that uh, the SMHs are likely to head lower out there. So we're not seeing a ton of of um, signals for a buy inside of the uh, semis when we take a look at those top eight holdings. So Nick, I hope that helps you out. I think you gotta really be patient here. And uh, thanks so much for the request. Uh, just looking through all these uh, emails out there. Uh, Yvonne is uh, one that uh, wrote in, she says a great show. Well, thank you, Yvonne. 
Uh, can you please analyze DNA for a, a buy point? Absolutely. So give me a moment here, if you would. I'm going to close this out because having all those charts open is really slowing things down during these shows. So you want to take a look at DNA, and I'm going to go ahead and get that uh, – a DNS, that's not right. DNA is a ticker symbol. So let me see here. I'm going to switch over to the black background screens while I then, on my other screen, get the uh, get that going for us. But let's just see what we've got here on the black background screens, which shows that uh, price is right now consolidating with inside its daily profile. So before I do too much work out here, there's support between 240 and 273, and you're looking for a buy point. And so right now we'd go with the 240 area as a place to be looking or at least observing of course what we'd like to see is some kind of a bottom pattern out there that uh, forms so when we get back to this breakout here Yvonne we're going to look a little bit further into DNA see if we can find some type of buy point area for you and that is uh, Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings Steve Rhodes with TFNN oh, great If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So we're taking a look at ticker symbol DNA. That is uh, Ginkgo Bioworks Holdings out here. This is for Yvonne, who is looking for an entry point. So, Yvonne, when we take a look at the daily time frame chart, what you and I see right now is price is trading below its breakout level, which is at 269. So a close below 269 on the daily time frame suggests lower price. Now, the lower price target could be its swing point from the trading day of May the 12th. Now, that swing point did volume of 26 million shares. Today, you're already at about 9.5 million shares in two hours of trading. So it appears that price is pulling back into this area 
with volume. Won't really know till the end of the day. But the swing point high of that candle session is at uh, $2.49. 249. The low so far today is 257. If price closes inside of 249 with volume, uh, that was at 26 million uh, share, I believe. Then that suggests that price would actually go test the low. And that would then take out the 240 level. So that low. So you're really watching May 12th. I can't tell you what is going to happen today and tomorrow volume-wise. But if price does get inside of 249, does with more than 26.6 million shares, odds favor move down to 209. So I gave you 240, which was the bottom of its daily profile. 209 is not a bad spot to take a position. It's got a weekly Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom that formed out there as well. Um, so maybe what we do, Yvonne, is uh, let's continue to monitor this over the next couple of days. Uh, write back to me or give me a call. And, um, you know, as price is approaching that area, and we'll, we'll go from there. I don't have anything for you on a 30-minute time frame to suggest that there's a bottom. So uh, thanks so much for enjoying the show and uh, for writing in. Much appreciated. Let's go to our next request out here. It's from Timothy S. Tim wants to take a look at BX. Uh, so BX, let's get that fired up on our screen out here. Let's read the question. Please discuss buy points for BX and UMP. And this is Tim in Golden, Colorado. So this is Blackstone, which is trading below. So it's got the A to B equals CD pattern as well. We could draw in the A to B line out here for you. So we'll draw an A to B, and then we'll just take that exact same. We'll just copy it in this case here. So we'll just simply copy it and paste it and move it. We'll try to move it. There we go. So there's your A to B equals CD. So the one one-to-one -one price projection gets you down to 93.48. Uh, the low so far today is at uh, 94.31. Now what this needs out here, Tim, it needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. Uh, you're below the bottom of its daily profile. You're below its oscillator and change line. You're moving back into a swing point. You haven't gotten there yet. From the trading day of July the 1st. Now that had volume of 4.6 4 million. You're 1.3 million already in two hours of trading. So that's getting kind of close to that volume. It hasn't gotten to that swing point just yet. But odds favor, I mean, you've got the A to B equals CD pattern that would take us there. So likely that area is going to get uh, tagged and will release some information to you. On a weekly basis, price is uh, going to su suggest uh, down to the 90.59 level. That's the bottom of its profile. Looks like that's both the bottom and the center. It is. So that should be a strong area of support. So 90.59 is looking pretty decent out there. But with regard to the daily, you need a bullish reversal candle. Otherwise, price is going to continue lower. And the likely price target is either the swing point that we looked at or that 90.59 area. So, Tim, I hope that helps answer your question. Uh, oh, you wanted to take a look at UNP as well. So let's get that up on our screens. Maybe this has got uh, better looking uh, charts for you or some other patterns that are out here. So let's get that up, fired up. UNP is Union Pacific, by the way. It is trading right now at 226 uh, and change. It is below at the bottom of its daily profile. You can see it's got an A to B equals CD to the downside. It's more than a one to one as we speak right now. This also will need a bullish reversal candle. It may be targeting its breakout level, and that's on the daily basis, that is, and that's at 221.55. If there's any hope, it's the weekly chart, and that weekly chart oscillator and change line, which has been tagged, but so far is held. And that low, uh, that oscillator and change line is at uh, 225.67. So, Tim, if you see a close below, certainly weekly close below to that, that level out there, 225.67, I believe it was, that says lower price. You'd still be watching for a confirmed A to B equals CD on the daily time frame. The uh, monthly time frame chart just shows really a consolidation with inside its monthly profile out there. So UNP doesn't look like it looks like, uh, you know, you got to wait for that bullish reversal candle, expect and anticipate a move to 221.55. That's the price you see a move below the 225 level out there. So, Tim, I don't know that I gave you any good news. Uh, maybe the good news was if you were going to buy those today, that's not what the uh, chart patterns are suggesting to us. However, and if you see a bounce here, then I don't want you to get upset because on a 30 minute time frame chart, Make sure I'm on the, yep, we are. 30 minute time frame chart, you can see that we may, it's only 11.35, we may get a uh, confirmed Rhodes Momentum Indicator bottom. We need a bullish reversal candle for that. And that would take price up to 228. You do have wave number seven. And if there's a higher low, 
during the 11.30 to 11, to 12 noon bar out there, you'd have a confirmed wave number seven pattern. Again, that would suggest at least a move to 228.53. And we know there's significant, uh, well, we don't know this, but it looks like the uh, bottom of the 30-minute profile is also the bottom in the center. So 229.39 is a real key level of resistance right now. If you overcome that, that would be a positive outcome. But uh, the daily time frame, the weekly time frame with regard to UNP, we're just not seeing a bottom pattern out there that's uh, worthy of uh, taking a long position. So, Tim, thanks so much for writing in. I do hope that helps you out. We've got a request here from Michael P. He wants to take a look at Disney, I believe. So let's get Disney posted up here. Let's read the question. It goes like this. Hello, Steve. I'm in Disney long term. Sold calls against it. Thinking of covering the calls here. Also long and strong PBR. Paps Blue Ribbon out there. Yay, it's always a good thing to be long. Paps Blue Ribbon. Thinking of selling half and buying back on the pullback. The dividend yield is 22%. Wow, cool. That's Mike in Pennington. So let's take a look at Disney, see what kind of information we can help you out with. So today is going to form bar number eight of a TD9 count, assuming that price closes below. This is key, 116.41. Looks like it should happen. But if we get some kind of rally in the afternoon and price closes above that, then, Mike, you will not have a TD9 count bottom. Now, because this will be bar number eight, that suggests that Disney could or should form a TD9 count bottom between today and Thursday out there. So I believe that's the piece of information that you were looking at. Now, there's an A to B equals CD to the downside. The swing point, which was August 24th, had volume of 7.8 million shares. Yesterday was taken out with 6.8 million shares. So you still have an A to B. It's not a confirmed one, meaning it hasn't hasn't um, blown through the B point of the A to B equals CD with volume. But that does not mean it is not in an A to B equals CD to the downside pattern. Just means it hasn't been uh, confirmed out here. So the one-to-one -one price projection inside of Disney would take us to 106. Well, if we look at the uh, Disney chart out here, the weekly is uh, forming a new profile as we speak. So the new profile has resistance at 126.48. It has got support way down there. 93.86, 97.48 out there. Um, bullish in structure. But, um, you know, that could be where prices is, is headed to. Stevie, would you make up your mind out here? And, and help Mike and uh, Pennington out? Uh, yes. Uh, so you're in a you're in an options trade out here right now. Um, you're long term. You're long Disney from a long term perspective, and Disney does have a long term buy the D point pattern. That's on the monthly chart. That says that over time price should target 133.66. So I get that. The weekly has a nice confirmed road momentum indicator bottom. So price, but price is back inside this profile now. Um, I. I Look, you, uh, you got bar number eight of a TD9 count out there. It makes sense for me uh, to go ahead and, and, and cover those uh, cover those call options at this stage here. But I've given you the information. Well, I'll tell you what, when we get back to the break, I'll show you the 30-minute chart. See you, with the FNA. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, 
as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back. Let's finish off uh, Disney for uh, Mike in uh, Pennington. And uh, so, Mike, on the 30-minute time frame chart, you know, at Disney, on a 30-minute basis, what Disney has not done is close above a TD9 count breakout area. So, you, you know, you could remain patient here. You may get lower price inside of uh, Disney. Uh, if price were to close above 115.39, then I'd say that that is not the case, that the TD9 count pattern likely will take hold. Uh, in the 30-minute basis, you can also see Rhodes Momentum Indicator Signal trying to form out there. It just uh, formed a doji candle at 11.30 out there, so creating a bullish reversal candle would not be that difficult to do. The question is, can it overcome its oscillator and change on a 112.71? And if it does, can it overtake 114.71? Well, since 114.71, the top of the daily profile, which has acted as resistance, isn't that far from the 115.39 level, I'd say 115.39 would answer your question, Mike, with regard to what uh, Disney intends to uh, do. So you might get uh, another day or two of downside action out there. I mean, you could get more than that for sure. Uh, the TD9 count could fail, and that would then tell you the A to B equals CD pattern is in place out there. So I hope that helps you out. Uh, you also had a position in PBR. So let's get PBR up on the uh, screen out there. And I know I made fun of it being Paps Blue Ribbon, but that is certainly not the case out there. Instead, that is Petrobras. And if we take a look at Petrobras trading out at 1435, and you're thinking of selling half and buying back on a pullback out there. So the question is, do we have any kind of a topping pattern inside of uh, PBR for its daily time frame? We do not. But what we do have, and not every single one of my tools is going to identify a top. What we do have is we do have its swing point being tested from August 11th. That swing point had volume of 54 million shares, and it was tested with, this is on uh, the trading day yesterday, with uh, 29 million. So 29 was tested, and that had 54. So that was a real light volume test. Price did close inside it, but you've rejected it now. You're below the bottom of its daily profile, below the green oscillator and change line. So it looks to me like this wants to get back into the gap out here, and that was between August 22nd and August 23rd. The weekly chart, which just shows really a sideways consolidation movement, looks like it wants to get back to 1387. The day, the monthly chart suggests maybe price could pull back to 1280, but I'm not so sure about that. Um, so I'd say 1387 is likely where this wants to head to. However, uh, much like Disney, if we take a look at uh, Paps Blue Ribbon out here, we can see that on a 30-minute time frame, Mike, at 12 noon, it will complete the TD9 count pattern. And so that makes it pretty easy for you. Either price is going to bounce up to its oscillator and change line at 1476, or if, in fact, price closes below the TD9 count bottom, I don't know what it will be by noon. 
At 11.45, that TD-9 low is 1431. That's the current candle session. Let's assume, and we're at 1436. I don't know if it's going to hold the five cents or not. But whatever the low is, if price closes below that on the next bar at 1230, that tells you about a strong momentum move to the downside out there, and you would expect lower price. So that's you use the 30 minute to kind of help navigate the daily time frame, which is basically saying, okay, on the weekly, we might get back to test that green oscillator and change line at 1387. So I hope that those details help you out. Uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Let's go to some more questions that have come in from the uh, Tigers Den, the first one from uh, Muck. Uh, let's take a look at MSFT. That is Microsoft. So let's get Microsoft, which I believe is a TD9 count or a buy the D point bottom that's forming out here. It's going to be one or the other. So let's get that up on the screen. Uh, specifically, what uh, Mike Muck wanted was the Oscillator and Change Line and the TAS levels. Yeah, today, bar number nine of a TD9 count. So we should get a Microsoft uh, TD9 count bottom that will complete by tomorrow. Right now, it is above TD9 count. Breakout supported 258.85. So Microsoft is suggesting a buyable bottom that should form by tomorrow, today or tomorrow. That then should take us up to its oscillator and change line. You asked about that, I believe. 278.42 is the current level. That is the center as well of its bullish structure daily profile. That is where you would expect a counter trend move to end if it is only a counter trend move. That, of course, that assumes that in fact it bottoms. Now, there's also an A to B equals CD pattern, so bullish reversal candle would go a long way to confirm that Gartley buy pattern. Do we need that to happen? No, it would just be nice to happen. If we look at the weekly time frame chart out there, I'll and change on a 226. Uh, TAS profile support level 253.31. By the way, on the daily or below that, that support level, and I think you got that when we talked about that counter trend move ending at the 278.42-ish area out there. Monthly time frame, you're below the bottom of the monthly profile. No bottom pattern that is in place out there. And it says Microsoft, longer term, may want to go target to 1194. So with regard to Microsoft, we've given you the oscillator and change line levels. If I haven't mentioned one, you can see those on your screen, as well as the uh, TAS profiler. It does look like Microsoft is preparing for some kind of a bottom. Is it the today? CB, you said today's bar number nine. Is it possible that it's today? Well, one possibility would be yes, if, in fact, Microsoft can take out some resistance levels. It's got a Rosemontum indicator bottom signal. It does not have a bullish reversal candle. If it could generate a bullish reversal candle, then we'd be looking to see what happens as price deals with 268.33, if it can even get up there. Right now, 265.34 would be the counter trend area where price would simply uh, find resistance. If price get above that, then you look at 268.33, above that 272.77 out there. So it's got the potential. It's trying to form that intraday bottom out here. There's just nothing that's been confirmed just yet, and there's no resistance areas that have been taken out. So I'm UK. I hope that helps you out with regard to Microsoft. Thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Set inside the Tigers then wants to take a look at Roku. R-O-K-U is the ticker symbol, and also looking for the same kind of information, support levels. So, as Roku gets fired up on our screen out here, we know that Roku is trading out at what? Come on, come on, there we go. Trading out about 66, uh, 67 bucks, even Steven, or right around there. Now, price is below its red oscillator and change line and its daily profile. Today is the lower low out here. Today should become the TD nine count bottom. If it fails, that means we see a close below that. Well, then it's going to go target that hammer candle. That's a high volume low. That's from the trading day of July 29th. Ideally, price would tag 66.46. That's the top of that uh, hammer candle. Only got down, oh, 66.38. Hold on a second here. Hold your horses. So now you're going to get a test of that swing point. Oh, shoot. Uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to the black background charts out here. So let's do this. Give me a moment. It's going to be easier for me, at least to show you a uh, Roku on the black background charts and the test of that swing point. So let me get that uh, little decorate the uh, chart here. We'll use the top of that swing point. That should be about right there at 64, uh, 66, 46. And again, that volume, you can see big high volume, low 46 million being tested today with 2.9 million shares. Again, the low today is 66, 38. So close above 66, 46 will be a test rejection with lighter volume. Can't bust them down, we'll try to bust them up. So you were looking for support levels. Uh, you're getting a bottom signal. Now, what price has failed to do uh, recently is close above that red oscillator and change line. And so that's going to be a real significant area for you. If price can close above that, that's currently printing at 70, 
7004 out here and we're trading at 66.95 on a weekly basis you've got a rose momentum indicator bottom the monthly is the problem child because it negated its td9 count bottom last month nonetheless roku is preparing to form a bottom should form a bottom and if it can close above that oscillator and change line 75.45 is likely where price will head seabroads with tf and n we'll be right back Vista Gold owns and operates the largest undeveloped gold project in Australia, the Mount Todd Gold Project. Vista Gold just completed their feasibility study, resulting in a 7 million ounce gold reserve. Vista Gold has all major permits approved and has retained CIBC capital market assistance in evaluating alternatives and in completing an accretive transaction. Vista Gold trades on the NYSE American and TSX under the ticker symbol VGZ. Vista Gold, executing a strategy to create shareholder value. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome uh, back, uh, folks. So we've got uh, two minutes left here in the uh, show. Let's go back, take a look at the ES Mini, and uh, again, uh, just remind ourselves of the signal. So today is going to become bar number eight of a TD9 count. That suggests a TD9 count bottom should form between today and Thursday out here. As we look to the five-hour time frame chart, this bar does not complete till 2 p.m. It already has a confirmed Roach Mintum indicator bottom, but a close below that low, which is 4,006.75, will negate that signal. And that would then suggest that a new bullish reversal candle would need to form in order to confirm a five-hour Roach Mintum indicator bottom. The same pattern inside the 240-minute chart. When I say same pattern, I take that back. You now have a Roach Mintum indicator signal that's been triggered. If we get a bullish reversal candle, that will confirm a bottom. Same thing with 120-minute time frame chart. Roads momentum indicator signal has been triggered. The same for the 60-minute. Each of those need bullish reversal candles. So that's what you'd be looking for for the 60-minute, two-hour, four-hour, five-hour time frame charts. 30-minute charts say we should bounce. Why? We have a TD9 count bottom. And price should go target its oscillator and change line. That's at 4023. 
That's really being confirmed by the 15 and the 10 minute chart. Both of those have TD9 count bottoms as well. So that says the cool thing here is now we can go back to the 10 and 15 minute charts and watch how price deals with resistance levels. In the 15 minute chart, that resistance level is going to be at 4,003 or thereabouts. If price can close above that, that's then going to signal move up to the 4039 level. Well, that takes us to the 4023 uh, 30-minute oscillator and change line area. So watch 4,003 or so on the 15-minute chart. The 10-minute chart shows us that price, we had a TD9 count bottom, price found resistance at the bottom of its profile. That's at 3,997. It is bullish in structure. The real counter trend area where price, where if it's just a counter trend move for just a 10 minute chart, again, 10 minute chart, you're really trading with inside the 10 minute time frame out there, not the daily time frame. But if price can't close above 4,005, that would then suggest to move up to 4034 to 4046 out there. So you can use the 10 minute and the 15 minute chart to navigate what it's communicating to us about the 30 minute TD nine count bottom. Folks, stay tuned. We've got great programming lined up for you for the rest of the day. I'll be back with you tomorrow on Terrific Thursday. Uh, tomorrow's wonderful Wednesday. I was getting a day ahead of myself. So have a terrific Tuesday, and I'll see you tomorrow on Wonderful Wednesday. Take care. Be safe out there.